sociologist and have been associated with NCI Institute initially, then Sulab International as its founder director of the Center for Action Sociology, shifted to Ubiquan Social Sciences Chief and Senior Fellow. And my life, last association has been with the Indian Council of Social Science Research as a senior. <coughs> My, 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 uh, the theme of my paper is some agenda for consideration on sociology of sanitation and integration. Now, my contention is that uh, this uh, <coughs> new branch of sociology, sociology of sanitation, is wise to emerge as a new branch related to exploration of relationship between society and culture of sanitation. It is, it is a, intended to apply in depth as well as in coverage, placement of different segments of society in terms of availability of sanitary facilities and also to indicate their inclined for clean environment and practices conducive to healthy life. <coughs> Quality of facilities available <coughs> and mechanism for delivery constitute an important dimension of research in this branch of sociology. So, evolution of scientific culture of sanitation are to be explained for policy intervention and <clears throat> also have to be subjected to expert is good. Now, needless to say, we have been saying, and Professor Yogendra Singh has said in the morning, in a very succinct manner, that sociologists have made into, uh, 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 impressive contributions to our understanding of social realities. We have covered during our rather comparatively short duration of this social science discipline, some very important dimensions that are quoted everywhere in the world. <coughs> we have uh, met prescriptions that are required to correct the first identified F6 in development and to correct, in a good policy makers, to correct, correct distortions were prevalent. Now, um, social deprivation has been a special concern. We have studied the phenomenon of, phenomenon of inequality and then how it led to a situation of social inequality. And so, this person of social inequality we have highlighted how higher location in society and social pedigree is the basic determinant of social status in uh, <coughs> Hindu social order. We have also pointed out that we have with us a section of society that are deprived of primary resources to avail themselves the basic necessities of life. They are socially deprived, economically marginalized, and politically ineffective. Emerging social equilibrium that favored <coughs> the emergence of the middle range castes also have not favored downward percolation of power in the favor of the people who have 
by the base of the caste pyramid. Now that I am saying all these things because there is a section among the scheduled castes who are lowly, lowest among the lowest. Unfortunately, whenever we talk about scheduled caste, we treat them as a homogeneous category. The heterogeneity is lost over. Wheels within wheels are ignored. As a result, these persons who have been subject to exploitation since time immemorial have found a scanty attention and very little research. Gandhi perhaps was the first to be concerned about the sad plight of these people and uh, he didn't like the arrangement of uh, scavenging, especially its legitimization in the Hindu social order. This caste perhaps were the most exploited on, on account of their occupation that was traditionally ordained and heritable. Gandhi's Hinduism did not endorse this arrangement of Exeter disposal and it was, he considered it to be a slur on humanity. He plea to treat every individual themselves as a <laughs> and to scavenging themselves. However, I few takers, in spite of his charisma and in spite of the large following that were prepared not only to listen to him but to follow him. His design of planet that promised freedom to scavengers from manual handling of night soil was uh, remained a flash event and remained confined to a few territories as a demonstration model. So, the existence of scavenging was on account of non availability of the technology and unwillingness on the part of the people to have new orientation towards disposal of night swell. So this is how in my contention sociology of sanitation has to be studied in its historical perspective in order to know how it has Health for situation of scavenging in this country. There are more many things, but the most important thing is that conclude five minutes. I wanted to <coughs> talk about the impressive phase, therefore, I think I would be allowed. This was the phase that marked the arrival of Sulav Sulav International, which had a design as an as a intent. And the entrepreneurship of a sociologist that led to dissemination of a technology that promised abolition of manual scavenging. It was not that easy. It had to be propagated, taken to the people. You have heard Dr. Parker telling. And I have a number of studies conducted on behalf of Sulab International, one near Chalsekhar's village, the other in Hadipur village, in the, house, in the village of Dr. Parker's maternal uncle, then Sahapur in Bhakta. These are the things are, these are the, I mean, the studies and the, the details are with me. 
it was not easy at that time also when Sulal is, uh, was uh, at the peak and he is still at the peak. So it is very difficult to convince people to part away with the practice that doesn't occur, I mean, bad to them. It's a supposed some better. The habits are like uh, metal coins and it takes time to <laughs> Two sentences I will mention that in the I mean the globalization phase there is a Chinese concept surplus human. So if uh, you liberate scavengers and leave them without any job, they will become surplus population. Therefore, their skills have to be improved. They have to, for them, a special program has to be worked. Rehabilitation has to be ensured. Only then, this uh, experiment can be reflected, uh, reflected, taken elsewhere. In a nutshell, the last sentence that I want to avoid that sociology of sanitation has to be an interdisciplinary enterprise involving sociologists, third sector initiatives, private parties, and of course organizations successfully demonstrating the results of uh, their initiative. This is uh, what I wanted to say in a better way, but there has been some problem that has disturbed my concentration. And I'm sorry when I write a paper, you won't have that problem and uh, you will excuse me uh, for uh, the, you know, the disconnect that you may have witnessed. Nobody has seen